Vic, the postulation of multiple universes, where our universe may not be the only one, there could be an infinite number of universes, have struck theologians hard. And they've starting to come up with a whole bunch of explanations about how God could be consistent with multiple universes. How do you view it? Well, the, the multiple universe uh, scenario, first of all, seems to be consistent with modern cosmology. It seems to be even suggested by it. So uh, I think people have to accept that right now as, as actually the, the less parsimonious, uh, or the most parsimonious, actually, and the single universe is, uh, is, is actually less, less, a parsimon, less, less parsimonious because you have to introduce some, some new principle to explain why we have only one universe. And of course, it's, it's vast. Even our own universe is, is far vaster, according to modern tech, uh, cosmology, than, than uh, we ever imagined. I mean, our visible universe is like a grain of sand in the Sahara Desert. The universe beyond our view is supposed to be something like 10 to the 10 to the 100 times <laughs> bigger than the... So you have this incredibly vast universe of our universe, and then you have all these other universes out there. How is it possible for there to be the one God keep track of all that stuff, be, be listening to every, every uh, word, uh, listening to every thought of every uh, sentient creature on all of these... Uh, planets that Jesus go to all these planets and, and and die on the cross an infinite number of times. <laughs> what a terrible life uh, a Son of God would have. Uh, so it's just it, it makes the whole the whole idea the whole at least traditional idea of God, uh, which after all goes back to the to the musings of of, of a small desert tribe. Uh, that uh, it's it's hard to imagine any connection between that kind of God and what we, we have out there in, that, in the case of such a vast universe. Let, let, let's explore it in some depth. What are some of the cosmological theories that make multiple universes more parsimonious than a single universe? Yeah, there's the inflationary theory. There are a number of different versions of it. It was, uh, um, but... Andre Linde, uh, with his chaotic inflation, has, has probably the simplest uh, uh, version, and it, it really predicts that this thing is happening all the time, that new universes will pop up uh, and, uh, and form uh, uh, continuously all throughout space. So, theologians are aware of that. They had to readjust some thinking when, mm -hmm. when he, he did that, and, and now they would say, well, God has to generate the multiple universes. Maybe, now they, they actually divide up into camps now. Some say that, uh, that there, there is no multiple universes. Some say that there is multiple universes, but that expresses more the glory of God. Others says that if there are multiple universes, they had to be so finely tuned because you had to have a mechanism for making multiple universes, and that mechanism is even more fine-tuned than the one we have for one universe. So there's well, a whole panoply of yeah, explanations. Right. Well, of course, the, the multiple universe uh, from the theological context uh, helps solve the fine-tuning problem because it just means that that every uh, you, you have all possibilities occurring and in fact there's one physicist uh, who, th who thinks that every every <laughs> mathematically possible universe right. occurs not just the ones that <laughs> the models right. predict so uh, uh, it certainly solves the fine-tuning problem let me put it that way even though I think that you could solve the fine-tuning problem perfectly well uh, in a single universe because it we don't really know uh, uh, what it, what other forms of life might be possible, uh, even in, in, in our universe, if the constants of nature had been slightly different. But in the multiple universe, it just means that everything happens, just about everything has happened every place, and, and uh, we just happen to have occurred, uh, uh, evolved in that universe that had the properties that we were tuned to. We, we, we're basically tuned to our universe, not the universe to tune to us. So, uh, uh, so it's hard to see how you can uh, rescue theology with, <laughs> multi I mean, 
all they, the best they can say is, well, we can still imagine a consistent God. God can still do whatever he wants. So I have a consistent God, but that God is certainly not a God that singled out uh, humanity. And one, uh, there's one little point in space and time uh, as special. And with multiple universes, that point has shrunk almost infinitely more oh, than it's whatever just it is. Incredible how how insignificant we are, and I think that's uh, if people uh, are bothered by that, then. Uh, or, you know, I can understand that, but you have to, I think what you have to do is just realize this is the way the world is. This is, this is where we stand in, in the universe. It's still, it's still a great thing to, to study. It's, it's fun to look out there at all those stars and think, think how vast it is. And, uh, uh, we can enjoy that. We can still enjoy science and cosmology and art and music and everything else. But it's, it's here now that, uh, this enjoyment is taking place. <laughs> Let me ask you uh, some probabilities. Uh, I'm going to make up a number. I'm going to say that you believe that if there's one universe, the chances of God, you don't say zero, are one in a million. Now, maybe you think it's one in a trillion, but let me just use one in a million. If that's the case, and, it, and then if somebody told you you were, were absolutely sure there are multiple universes, how would the odds change in your view as to the existence of God? Well, I don't see. I don't see how you could conclude that God would be more likely if there were more more universes. At least the God of tradition, because after all, the God of tradition is a God was a God over a flat Earth. Uh, it was that was all by itself in the center of the cosmos, and and with stars and planets and moons circling about it. Uh, and it was based on that picture, uh, and how could how could a god based on that picture ever be uh, reforged, remolded to to a god of multiple universes? I can't see how.